Good morning. It is this many o'clock. Now, it's been a funny old year, hasn't it? I've been on lockdown, so I pretty much haven't left the town that I live in in five months. But today I will. Today I'm off to do my first real gig since March. I'm going to film a small appearance on a TV show in Paris, which is exciting and weird and scary. So I thought I would take you with me. So shall we go? Okay, so I'm at the airport waiting for my flight. Um, it's, it's been quite a rocky road so far. Uh, I had to get COVID tested, um, which is really not a big deal. Don't be scared of it. Um, but the results were a day late in coming. So I didn't know if I was gonna make it even this far until yesterday afternoon. Um, and the government have instituted a mandatory 14 day quarantine on return so that's what i'll be doing when i get back from this gig which is pretty much what i was doing anyway to be honest um so yeah i guess we'll see how far we get fingers crossed <laughs> So I am here in Paris to film a little appearance on a television show and normally it would be natural to have a few nerves about a gig like this. You know, TV tapings are full of uncertainties, they're tiring, they're hard work and you want to make sure everything's right so you can do your best. So it can be stressy. But this time out, the actual job is literally the element that is making me the least anxious. Travelling to a whole different country during a badly handled global pandemic makes show business slide way down the league table of things that are scary. If you've read things that I've written in the past or maybe seen my work, then you might know that I have some mental health issues. And that kind of makes this whole situation almost funny, I guess, because one of the things that anxiety does is it convinces you that the outside world is full of dangers and risks that you can't see. Uh, and at the moment, the outside world is full of dangers and risks that I can't see. But to hell with that, I've just arrived, so I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna go out and explore and see if I can find a nice socially distanced table from which to watch Paris go by while having a nice drink. This all feels very strange. You know, the whole traveling for work thing. I mean, I haven't done it for a long time, but before that I did it a lot. It doesn't feel as casual as it used to. It's like when you're clearing out the loft and you find an old leather jacket that you haven't worn for years and years and you bring it down and you put it on and it feels kind of like it used to but it's been folded up in a box in the loft for years so it's kind of stiff and spiky and not entirely comfortable so you've got to get through that you've got to wear it out for a few days before it loosens up and gets comfortable again that's what it is <laughs> Here I am in my dressing room here at the TV show that I'm doing um, and I have done my rehearsal and it all seems fine and easy and now I just have to wait. Um, 
My filming isn't going to happen for a few hours, so I just have to chill out here, relax, try not to get too bored or cranky. Every so often a young runner will come and find me and take me away to do a photo shoot or an interview or sign a piece of paper that says that I fully understand the danger of the act I'm presenting and it is only my choice and nobody else's to do it. And um, The game now becomes that when it is finally time to do the thing I'm here to do, I have to find a way then to get my endorphins to spike a little bit so that I don't walk out on stage looking like I've just been bored killing time all day. That's where espresso comes in. Charles de Gaulle airport uh, waiting for my flight on my way home so that was a weird one and of course it was it was always gonna be this is this is weird times um, the bottom line is I traveled quite a long way to do a five-minute act in a thousand seat theater that was completely empty I was happy enough with what I did but the whole thing kind of felt like a rehearsal. I have no idea how it will look on screen. It could end up looking awful and sad and empty, or it could end up looking great. I guess we'll find out. Either way, scuttling home now to my two-week quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> 